Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? Welcome back. So this is week 19 slash 20. I'm gonna go ahead and call this week 20 though because we had my anatomy scans yesterday. Everything went amazing. Oh, today is February 9th. It's a Tuesday, 2021. So yesterday on the 8th, had my anatomy scan and he weighs 13 ounces and he measures at 20 weeks and five days. So technically, according to my chart and the the last day of my last period, or the first day of my last period, he was supposed to be due on January, no, July 4th. But because he's been consistently a week ahead, I'm going to go ahead and say instead of at 19 weeks this week, I'm at 20 weeks. So 19 slash 20 and moving forward next week, I'm going to say I'm at 21. And so his new due date is June 23rd. One of my girlfriends said that boys tend to come early. If that is true, please let me know in the comments below. I really would prefer and want him to be a cancer like his mama. I want him to come at the end of June or July. But it's all up to God and whenever he chooses to enter the world, and whenever that is, I'll be extremely happy. So this is the ultrasound and update. This is a um, heartbeat right now. And then this part is the heartbeat. So the heart rate is at 155. Okay. Mm. Baby's belly right here. And the femur bone. Mm. So those are his legs right there. Mm -hmm. So am I, if the baby's at a healthy size, am I at a healthy size? Like he's doing like good? On the way, 13 ounces right on track. Okay. And baby's kind of face down right now. Is that like, that's his head right there? Mm-hmm. Looking kind of towards your back, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And both legs. Right now, baby's face down. I want to get a face image. Hopefully, he's going to flex a little bit. That's just blood flow right here. Okay. There's the face. So, he's not giving us that cute profile view mm -hmm. everybody likes, but... Is it okay? Like, he seems so, like, turned. Was that normal? They curl up super tight. Okay. So, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> He's hiding his face. Mm -hmm. So, sometimes they move, but... He's kind of still today moving too much so as you saw in the ultrasound um this ultrasound is not like the other ultrasounds i got where the goal is to really like really see the see him and see him moving around he was definitely asleep he had his head toward my back but you can see his full spine you could see his bones you could see he's growing so healthy and afterward, when I met with the doctor, she said that he is growing perfectly well. There's no worries. I got tons of blood tests. So test down syndrome and uh, if, if my iron levels are low. But for the most part, if I don't hear anything back in the next seven days, we are Gucci and we are good to go. And that means I'm eating good, which I'm making sure I'm eating good. Eating good protein, good fats, healthy whole grains and carbs, drinking lots and lots of water. And I drink a lot of decaf tea. 
that was pretty much my diet. And then I like to occasionally snack on some sweets, like some ice cream and some popcorn, but that's on occasion. But for the most part, he's growing really well. He's growing really strong. I am at the halfway point, super excited. I cannot wait to meet him. We are going to be getting our house in the next couple of weeks. So I'll definitely share that, can't wait. And little bump date, um, this is him today. He's, uh, I'm, I mean, I still don't feel that big, but I assume in the next couple of weeks, it's just going to be like, bad out. And I'm gonna be like walking like a penguin. Well, not next couple of weeks, but next couple of months. But I'm looking forward to seeing him and feeling him and watching him move and just grow and be able to talk to him. I already talk to him every single day. Uh, but it's been just such an amazing experience. And again, I thank you guys all for being here. That is my week update. Um, I went to the gym the other day and that was absolutely amazing. I, my legs are definitely store, sore. I plan to attend the gym a little bit more often. The doctor said that it's absolutely okay to continue to exercise three to four days a week. Continue to do what I'm doing. Don't add anything crazy or new. So ladies, if you're already active during your pregnancy, keep that up. If you have never been active, I would just recommend light walking, really light weights and just take it easy. But definitely attempt to do some kind of training and fitness routine to keep your body moving to maintain that healthy weight i currently am like right at the mark of where i should be i probably need to increase my calories at least another 300 a day so i can continue to gain a pound a week which i have been doing today this week i'm 159 last week i was 158 week before that i was 157 so i'm a pound a week and i am proud of myself that i am right on track so again, thank you guys for being here and watching my journey. It's been super exciting and just so rewarding to just know that this life is growing within me. It's truly just beautiful what God can produce within us women. We are so powerful. If you all, if you all didn't feel like that or don't know that already, you are powerful, you are strong, and you are worthy, and you have grown, you have a growing baby within you. And if not, you can and have the power to grow a baby within you if you're a woman. So stay tuned for next week. Please like, please share. Please subscribe and I shall see you in the next bump date video. Bye for now.